वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैम ट्यूटोरियल इन सॉलिड वर्क शीट मेटल पार्ट टू वी विल क्रिएट दिस सिंपल इलेक्ट्रिकल इनक्लोजर एंड वी विल लर्न सम बेसिक कमांड्स लाइक बेस फ्लैंज एज फ्लैंज मीटर फ्लैंज स्केच बैंड देन कॉर्नर वेंचुरी हाउ टू क्रिएट वेंचुरी फ्लैट पैटर्न एक्सक्रूडेड कट फ्यू थिंग्स एंड हैमिंग ऑल्सो वी विल सी सी हियर एंड लेटर वी विल क्रिएट टू डी ड्राॅइंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस नाउ सी दिस इज द डेवलपमेंट व्यू and uh, if we saw 3d drawing isometric view so let's see how to make this simple electrical enclosure in solid works with the help of sheet metal tool now let's start to see how to create a sheet metal part in solid works with the help of solid works tool so let me open file new and either choose part here even though you can change it part okay now here we can change background plane white whatever background you like even though you can change unit from here millimeter inches or anything now let's start to do if you don't have a sheet metal tab here just right click and click on the sheet metal now first we will start with base flange so if we click base flange it will ask you which plane do you like to use so we will choose front plane line and let me draw a random geometry now this is your random geometry now let me choose these two lines equal and collinear this is important relation define 50 mm 70 mm and 130 mm that's fine now simply exit once you exit it will ask you which plane you like to now see here either this side or this side wherever you like we will go back side 100 mm D direction to don't need uh, we don't use gauge thickness we will keep 1.5 radius by default 1 mm even though you can change reverse direction see thickness comes up but we want to keep down that's fine k factor it is a k factor we are using for the bending calculation purpose so we will keep a standard and relief angle uh, we will keep rectangle ratio 0.5 okay i'll i'll show you how to use this uh, auto relief now let me do one thing change okay so it looks more visible now this is the one thing now let me choose meter flange and how to use meter flange it will ask you plane or line something so i'll choose i'll keep our cursor bottom of this line click if we select this edge now see you will see one plane created at the bottom of this line see the this point is the end of this line normal and uh, let's create a geometry we start with origin point because uh, this is our reference point or end point of sheet now select this all three lines equal nine millimeter now simply exit once you exit you will see a pop up of meter flange now see now here you will see propagate click propagate and it it will select all the lines and it will penetrate in all edges but we don't want this unnecessary edges so at the bottom select edge 9 delete now this is your pattern going to be radius 1 mm and material thickness let's see from where is going to start now see material is going to be uh, check uh, check in from inside so we will take bend outside see bending comes directly outside and gap here i'll show you the gap between this two 1 mm see this gap now 
एंड एंड स्टार्ट ऑफ सेट इवन दो यू कैन दिस इज दी स्टार्ट पॉइंट सो लेट्स ए ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर सी दिस इज दी ऑफ सेट यू कैन क्रिएट वट एवर यू लाइक यू कैन क्रिएट एंड रिलीफ टाइप इज कॉर्नर रिलीफ इट इज रेक्टेंगल बाय डिफॉल्ट इफ यू चूज रेक्टेंगल इट विल बी सिलेक्टेड रेक्टेंगल वट एवर यू लाइक ओके नाउ दिस इज दी वन थिंग सी नाउ लेट मी हाइड दिस प्लेन फ्लैटन वंस यू क्लिक फैट फ्लैटन यू विल सी ए डेवलपमेंट व्यू ऑफ ए शीट सी दिस इज रेडी फॉर दिस एन सी वर्क एक्सिट फ्लैटन नाउ लेट्स गो बैक एंड हियर वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज एज फ्लैच आई एल सेलेक्ट दिस एज एंड ड्रैग और माउस हियर radius and a gap everything same angle we will change 45 degree blind length 25 mm okay let me choose 2 3 and uh, bending see this is the material outside so we will keep bend outside now see the bending comes from outside of this material even though if you want to draw any geometry any hole here simply select flange this is flange 2 flange 2 select edit flange profile circle i'll draw here 10 mm 10 mm finish now see we created a flange with hole even though you can define this hole with the help of smart dimension now see that's it now let's see some more commands like uh, hemming now here i'll choose this edge now once you select edge it will give you too many options either bend outside or inside so we will keep bend outside if you choose flat pattern see it will be flattened gap let's say 15 mm is length bending and 0.3 mm is gap even though you can let's say 2 mm that's fine gap k factor 0.5 it is very useful for bending calculation okay so this is how we created a simple hemming now even though let's try some important thing like uh, lure just open design library go to design library and here you have forming tool this is preloaded in all the softwares just simply drag and press tab key and reverse even though you can change from flip side like this position normal A smart dimension now we choose we need to choose a smart dimension 10 mm that's fine and uh, let's say outer edge thirty 3 mm so that it will moves little up now see click here okay now we created a simple lure with the help of forming tool now look if you want multiple number of pat lure so simply select linear pattern now first select here edge for direction feature this one reverse gap 15 mm and number of patterns you like 6 is enough for all drawing okay so this is how we created a lure tool with the help of design library this is preloaded in all the softwares now see now let's say okay here we will sketch and we here we will use venturi how to create a venturi here so first we will create a circle a sketch 50 enter again one more circle 30 enter line 
from this end to this end escape again use line click line l command on keyboard and you will enter in line command click escape again l from here to this point escape l make sure it is passes through center okay now we need to define some dimensions like this center distance we took 33 and uh, from here to here it's 50 mm now let's say angle 45 degree Forty-five degree. Now see our geometry is created. Just now, simply exit. Go to sheet metal and use vent vent tool. Now, once you select vent tool, it will automatically select here. See face selected and arc. This outer arc is selected. Even though clear, clear. here select a sketch now see once you select the sketch now this already selected so drop drop down and ribs let me choose here ribs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and here the thickness we will define 2 mm now comes down spurs this inside circle and 2 mm by default okay right click edit feature and uh, we forget to add you will see radius 1 mm now you will see see this all corner have radius 1 mm now click okay and we are going out that's it now what else balance uh, let's see some basic commands like uh, how to use the sketch band tool so simply select this face a sketch line and let me draw one line up to here go to sheet metal choose sketch band first select plane so i'll choose this plane and line automatically it will select angle 45 degree bend inside material outside or anything you can choose according to your requirement okay now here we will see one more tool uh, let's say corner break i'll select these two faces 10 mm see this is chamfer okay now this is the our simple hide so this is the simple electrical enclosure we created in solid works with the help of sheet metal i hope you like it let me choose flatten once you see the flatten now see if you want to save this flatten in 2d form right click and click here export to dxf and simply select drawing drawing save select sheet metal okay now it's going to calculate and it will save in 2d form so once it will ready it will show you a pop up window see this is the pop up window and 2d file going to save as a dxf format now this is ready for the autocad or for many operations save now once you click save it will save in 2d format 
exit flat pattern now let's make 2d drawing for this so first you have to save electrical enclosure now once you click save just click make drawing from part choose here landscape b whatever size you like you can keep now just drag front view top view right hand side view and isometric view click ok now drag this isometric view here drag this here select this view and choose here import annotations and sign er everything ok this one also you need to import annotation design okay now the last one other uh, design is tile shaded with age high quality now see this is your basic dimensions which we allocated this 20 millimeter is offset cut out 2 millimeter is gap 15 millimeter is the hemming thickness 50 millimeter 30 millimeter 50 millimeter distance 33 millimeter already here 33 and uh, 10 millimeter is the lower gap 2 millimeter is rib now simply click on here sheet 2 once you click sheet 2 the second sheet open open this drawing and here you can enter flat pattern simply select rotate here's change angle apply even though let's say 270 degree Oh, that's fine close I choose this one let me choose this plane we don't want to okay if you have dime annotations or anything you can but better to choose high quality image even though you can assign dimensions whatever you like separately so this is the development sheet which is ready for the CNC work or uh, for uh, cutting in CNC machine just do the programming and cut it now here you will see down 45 degree radius one this is the bending lines this is required for bending purpose let's save this one enclosure sheet save so this is the simple tutorial part 2 for beginners who want to learn how to use sheet metal commands in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching